Hey, Sean Collins with Sonal here, and today we're gonna talk about headphone bleed. No, that's not the name of my middle school garage band or some sort of bodily harm. Headphone bleed is a typically undesired audio artifact that can be found when a microphone picks up the backing track being listened to by a performer. A drummer, guitarist, or vocalist will often lay down their takes with the guidance of a reference mix in their headphones. This can be the click of a metronome, an instrumental, or even vocals. If the volume is loud enough, this sound will spill or bleed out from the ear cups and be picked up by sensitive mics. This results in a noisy mess that's a nightmare to mix. As an example, let's mute this accompanying track so that you only hear my vocals. Now, I'm gonna turn up the music in my headphones, but not the mix, so that you'll only hear what the Sonal SC550X microphone picks up. I'm wearing SMH1200s, and these are closed back monitoring headphones with extra deep ear cushions, so the isolation is pretty strong while being worn, but if I pull them away from my ears just slightly to mimic headphones with less isolation, you'll start to hear the music leaking out. So how do we stop the bleeding? While there are some crafty solutions you could employ in the mix that use phase cancellation and noise gating to eliminate the nastiness, it's best to just not record it in the first place. Lowering the volume in the vocalist headphones is the simplest solution. Through gain control, you should be able to get the spillage down to manageable levels. Unless there's a vocal solo, a little bit of bleed can usually be masked in the mix. If the artist tells you to turn down for what and you've already tried isolation headphones, it may be time to bring out the big guns. Equipping your vocalist with in-ear monitors and then covering those with hunting earmuffs is an extreme but effective way to drop those decibels. Ultimately, as an engineer or producer, it's your job to make sure the artist's appetite for volume isn't to the detriment of the recording, and if you let them know you care about the track and their long-term hearing, most artists will oblige. You'll also find that some singers prefer to only wear one ear of their headphones as a way to hear themselves more naturally. If you're working with this type of talent, make sure to pan their headphone mix so that no sound is being emitted from the unused can. In rare cases, such as Christina Aguilera's Beautiful, headphone bleed is allowed in the vocal, for effect. Dave Pensato, who mixed this particular track, chose to leave the bleed because it fit stylistically with the song's message. As with all things creative, your mileage may vary. Got your own solution for sound spill? Leave it in the comments below and make sure to follow us at Sonal Sound or visit us online at sonalsound.com. And the opponent in the red corner. Whoa, pump your brakes, fellas. I want a good clean fight. Monitors are for creation, speakers are for consumption. Business and pleasure. Yeah, look, 3D movies are fun, but if a surgeon showed up to your hospital room wearing those little glasses you get at the movie theater, would you let them operate on you?